This new special first anniversary edition episode of The Wonderful World of Kalu is going to be called, No Service. It's been a long year separated from this place. Well, it's about time. Time to go to the ghost cave hideout and relax with our friends after a very long year of school. Sup, Des. That was how I was declared hero of Prismopolis. Wow, what an amazing story, Ada. HMM. Super Burger, Extra Double Burger Deep Fried Cotton Candy Burger Seems like a bit much Oh, that lunch break seemed to go on forever But at least I can get back to my job now And what can I get the two of you on this fine afternoon? The usual, a small cheese pizza, a mini bacon cheeseburger, and a gallon of fries for me and a 5 pack of mozzarella sticks and a 20 piece chicken nugget bucket for me and 2 chocolate milkshakes for the two of us Um, why are you looking at us like that? Was it something we said? Wait, those kids are not wearing their jackets Should I enforce the rules or let them have their orders? I might get fired if I choose the latter so I guess I have no choice but to Hold it! Can't you read? Yes, but I choose not to if it's not important. Well, I can already see neither of you are wearing your jackets. Didn't you read that sign on the door before coming in? I'm going to say this once, but I'm not gonna say it again, so pay attention. No jacket, no service. What? No jacket means you cannot be here, and for that, I'm cancelling your order. Now leave before I call security. Are you out of your mind, Clark? How come people like Chili Healer are not wearing jackets yet they're still allowed in? Plus, chum, you don't know who I really am. I am Caillou Anderson. I never wear a hoodie. Kid, I don't make up the rules. I just follow them. Clean the bathroom three times a day. Mop the floors every hour. That sounds like a lot of work, but I'd always get the job done. Then again, if you mop the floors so often, what's wrong with not wearing a jacket? You moron, I'm allergic to cat hair, and if I sneeze, I get my germs on the floor, and I have to mop it all over again. And besides, no one is above the rules. Listen Clark, not wearing a jacket is sort of my deal. And I love the Ghost Gate hangout as much as I love new Emberlight animations. Heh. Perhaps, we can strike a bargain. Oh? There's one thing I'd like. For both of you to leave! Alright fine. Come on Rosie, we're leaving. If that's what you want, then fine. Who wants a free, delicious, sugary, rainbow colored slushy anyway? Poor kid. Stupid Clark and his boss's stupid rules forcing us to wear a jacket to come in. Yeah, I agree with you. Clark's rules suck. We don't need a jacket to go in. And besides, it was so hot out that dad made us leave our jackets at home. This is unacceptable. And stay out. Alright fine, we're going. Come on next. We're out of here. Knuckles. Tracer. What are you two doing outside of the hangout? Stupid dress code. I guess. Mate. Yeah, don't ask how Clark was able to see through our ridiculous disguises. Well, at least they forgot to confiscate my Sunday. Maybe those two can have it. I don't think that's a good idea. Too bad I'm doing it anyway. Cheers, mate and love. I know what you, Rosie. 
and knuckles off again. It's so unfair that you didn't get to stay. Guess I can make it up to you, so you can share this then. Stop right there! Great. It's you again, Clerk. I was going to let these two kids share a Sunday. What do you freaking want now, mate? Everyone knows that sharing Sundays is strictly forbidden under the ghost state hangout rules, and would result in the forfeit of said free Sunday. What in Cyrus Scratch's gin shorts has gotten into you? It's just sharing. Why is that suddenly against the freaking rules? Basic hygiene, man. Not that I expect you to understand. Well, that's a shame. You're on your own, mates and loves. Cheerio. I told you so, but do you ever listen to me? Never. You know, the easiest way to end all this would be to just put on a jacket. Yeah, sure, it would be easy to bend to Clark's will. Or, it would be even easier if I found a loophole. He's not gonna give up, isn't he? Oh, Clark, look, no hairs on your precious, clean floor. No, no, no! Now your shiny ball cut is at face level! That is even worse! Okay, now that is just pathetic. And for the record, you make an ugly baby. Tell them to my mom! Alright, Clark. You got me. Boom. Jacket. Ugh. God finally. Now, was that so hard? No. <laughs> it was not. What the paint? Wait just a minute. Hey, stinky! I got you that pretty bummer plush you always wanted, Ari. Oh, thank you, Caillou. Hold it! That was not a jacket! But <laughs> holy boofing! You just traded in public over your shirt! And I'm surprised we didn't get an allergic reaction to said public! There's something covering my shirt, isn't there? That's basically what jackets do. Also, who are you calling bumbling buffoon? You're a horrible clerk. You can't even control your temper for even a second when you see a child without a jacket. Repeat that statement, Scout Farmer! Holy crap! He's got a gun! Whoa, isn't that a bit too harsh? Whatever, you're the best clerk we ever had. That's better. Now look, kid, this isn't up to me. Check it. These are the official Ghost Kate Hangout rules. Everyone else has to follow them. Why can't you do the same? Because these rules are stupid, 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 stupid. I mean, look at some of these. No cartwheels, no skipping, no gum yeah. chewing, no excess uh -huh. talking, no yeah. coin flipping, uh -huh. no hand holding, yeah. no mouth breathing. What is wrong with you? If you want to come back here again, you know what you need to do. Rule 48. No sulking. Why are you going to so much trouble over this, Caillou? If you really want to stay inside, and I highly recommended it, you can borrow my hoodie. It's not like you haven't worn a jacket before. Sure, in the snow, or in the rain, or to play ball. Or when I co-hosted Seconds Get and Ground a Trivia Series, but that was different. That was my choice, not because Clark the Crazed Clerk was on a power trip. Then speaking of choices, sounds like you need to make one. It's either you give up your principles and wear a jacket for once, or never go back to the Ghost Gate Hangout ever again. 997, 998, 999, and another one. Yes. Ha ha ha. Time to reward myself with a free meal and slurp. Wait. What? Oh my god. Jacket required. But I never wear a shirt or a jacket. Oh well. I guess I'm not getting a grease less burger, crispy fries or an ice cold beverage. Oh my god that's it. I think I found a way to have it all. Hey there, Dirk. Long time no see. Crazy we have to put on a shirt and shoes and a jacket to go in. Am I right? It is pretty lame, but what can I do? Those are the rules, after all. I'll tell you what we can do. We can band together. They won't last much longer. It's almost nightfall, and it's starting to get pretty cold out. What? You mean I have to nullify the new policy now for the sake of the plot? 
Fine. I'll go tell everyone outside the good news. What do we want? The Goskitana. And when do we want it? Right. Freaking. Now. Some of us choose not to wear shoes. Yeah, it's true. Others lead shirtless lives, and don't even require a jacket. Yay, we do. But we all deserve the Ghost Kate Hangout, and I think the Ghost Kate Hangout should be for all. Alright, that's it. You idiots have left me no choice. No other choice but. Welp, good news, guys. The dress code has now been revoked. I saw everything that was about to go through, so I had to end it before it begins. You may now enter the hangout again.